Hi guys, I'm Apollonia Ponti and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five irresistible men's fragrance. And I have the one and only Jeremy Fragrance right here by my side to tell you and give you guys this advice. Thanks for joining me, for Jeremy. Yes, I'm very happy to be here. So we can start off right now. The number one suggestion I have for you would be Acqua di Gio Profumo mm -hmm. by Giorgio Armani, which is a more grown up, more sexual version yep. of Acqua di Gio, which is the most sold men's fragrance on earth. Really? Yeah. Wow. And what they did is they put in some incense, which is obviously very masculine and timeless, and they put in some patchouli, which is a also masculine note, and made the original Acqua di Gio DNA even more masculine and sexy and longer lasting. So this is a versatile, great fragrance everybody can start and start his collection with. All right, wonderful. So tell me fragrance number two. Okay, fragrance number two, I think we all should have uh, also a cheap choice in the round off and that will be Mont Blanc Individual. Oh. I call it the fresh fabric softener with a sweet raspberry touch. So you will smell nicely fresh and clean with a bit of a sexy flirty fruitiness, which is the raspberry. And it has very good performance, very long lasting and very affordable. Ooh, so like Mont Blanc Individual, 30 to $40 for a full sized bottle. That's wow. great. This is my number two choice. So how about number three? Number three would be, let's go for the most expensive one, okay. which would be Creed Aventus. Ooh. I know you know Creed. I love that one, yep. <laughs> so this is the powerhouse, this is the sexy compliment getter, one of the most complimented fragrances. If you wear that one, you get compliments. It's a very masculine one. And this is also, I think, a fragrance that uplifts your own feeling about yourself. Sadly, actually, because you know how expensive it is. And sometimes the placebo works if you know you're wearing a $500 shoe or a $420 cologne. Mm -hmm. So Creed Aventus is a great compliment getter and a versatile all season, all occasion fragrance for men. My nice. number three. I like that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Tip, how about number four? What fragrance would you suggest? Number four, a winter <laughs> only fragrance. And now I'm telling you, we got Spice Bomb Extreme. Yeah. Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf is oh. a gorgeously spicy fragrance. We got pepper, we got nutmeg, we got a lot of wintry spicy notes. Mm -hmm. And they're all coated in a big fat load of vanilla. So generally, these notes that I just described would be very aggressive to your nose would make you sneeze but because there's such a load of vanilla it makes it very smooth and almost yummy so for winter only i suggest you well we are watching it now it's now november december january you should take a look at this one specific spice pump extreme definitely yep. okay so number five last but not least which one is in this suggestion box. Apollonia, I gotta <laughs> tell you, the number five spot, we are in Miami. Mm -hmm. It must be a Versace fragrance, tragically actually, because <laughs> Gianni Versace was yeah. shot in Miami. But I'm talking about Versace Eros. Mm. And this fragrance is it's unmistakably not, not hiding his intentions. No, he wants it's to loud. get He wants to get <laughs> the job done. Yes. He's very much into going into the club. So this is your clubbing fragrance, your night out fragrance. This is the playboy. This is the macho man. So if you're looking for such a fragrance, Versace Eros, this is it. A sweet, almost bubblegum like fragrance. That's amazing. Great. Yeah. But I have to also say you have an amazing fragrance. Thank which you. Which is Office for Men. And you have a new one that's coming out, which is Date for Men. And it's really, I mean, those, these two fragrances are amazing. I met Jeremy here in Miami and I didn't even know this was his fragrance and I was blown away by this. So guys, like these are the top five fragrances we would suggest, but this is also a fragrance that I love as well. This is my, one of my personal favorites besides Thank the Creed. You. So and you're in the level up there with my favorite fragrance. So I love this, by Thank the way. Thank you. And yeah. just for you to know, Apollonia, the man that created this made mm -hmm. Aqua Di Gio. Oh, really? So I'm working with the best and I know what they did and I know what we have to do to be really at the top. Nice. So Alberto Morias made these two fragrances. You can wow. Google this gentleman. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. All right, well, wonderful. I'm so happy you joined us on today's video. Jeremy has a bunch 
of videos in regards to fragrance and things like that. So go ahead and check his channel out. It'll be below in the description box. And thanks so much for joining me, Jeremy. I love it. I loved it. I did not think it would be so smooth and so nice with you. Oh, I loved it you. really much, guys. Oh, thank you. And the so great much. team right here. You don't see it. We are two, four, six people behind yeah. the camera. It's really nice. It here. is. They're my, my, they're my heart and soul. Yeah, I believe so. That that's makes fun, working I, fun. I call them my boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, cool. guys. Well, thank you for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Remember, you are always loved. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.